Hey everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you three different methods for using a VPN on your smart TV. Before we dive into the tutorial, let's quickly talk about why you might want to use a VPN on your smart TV. VPN is a virtual private network that encrypts your internet connection and hides your IP address, making it more difficult for third parties to monitor your online activity. This is especially important when you're streaming content on your smart TV, as your ISP or streaming services might try to track your viewing habits. Additionally, a VPN can help you access geo-restricted content that might not be available in your region when you are traveling abroad. Here are three different methods for using a VPN on your smart TV. Method 1. Install a VPN directly on your smart TV if it is supported by that smart TV. Most modern smart TV that run on Android or smart TV OS should have a VPN app. To install a VPN app, follow these steps. Go to the App Store on your smart TV and search for a VPN. Download and install the app. Open the app and log in using your VPN account details. Connect to a server location of your choice. Method 2. Install a VPN on your router. If your smart TV doesn't have a VPN app, you can still use a VPN on your smart TV by installing a VPN on your home router and connecting your smart TV to that router. This will have the same effect as using the VPN app on your smart TV, and it will also enable you to use a VPN on other devices that are connected to your home network. To install a VPN on your router, you can follow the tutorial in the description below. Method 3. Share your VPN by making a hotspot on a computer where you already have a VPN installed and connected. This method requires you to have a computer with a VPN already installed and connected. If you need any help on how to install a VPN on your computer, you can check out our video in the description. Here are the steps to set up a VPN hotspot. The first step is to open Network and Internet Settings on your computer. Next, click on Mobile Hotspot and enable it by toggling the switch at the top. Underneath these options, press on Edit and set a name and password for your VPN hotspot. For example, I'm going to set the name to ExpressVPN because I will be using ExpressVPN for this tutorial, and make sure to set a strong password that includes numbers, letters, and various symbols. Well, I did not make a strong password, but you definitely should. After setting up the name and password, click Save. Now let's go back to Network and Internet, and select Advanced Network Settings at the bottom. In this window, find an option for more network adapter options and click on it. This will open up a new window that displays all of your network adapters. As you can see, I need to clean up my network connections, but let's leave that for some other time. First, let's identify the mobile hotspot adapter that we just created. Next to it, it should say Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. In my case, it is the second local area connection too. Remember that as we will need it for a later step. Now let's find our ExpressVPN adapter, which should say ExpressVPN TEP adapter. For me, that is Ethernet 2. Right-click on it and go to Properties. Then, go to the Sharing tab and check the first box that says Allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. After that, in the Home Networking Connection drop-down menu, select the mobile hotspot that we just created through the Windows settings. Once again, for me, that is the second local area connection 2. Next, press OK and you can now close this window. The final step is to connect to the VPN via the ExpressVPN app. An important thing to note, however, is that you need to use the OpenVPN protocol. To change it, go to Options, Protocol, and then switch to OpenVPN UDP. Then, connect to the VPN location of your choice, which will also set the VPN location for your created hotspot. Now on your TV, connect to the newly created hotspot. That's it. Once your smart TV is connected to the hotspot, it will use the same internet connection and IP address as your computer, which is connected to the internet through ExpressVPN. This means that all traffic from your smart TV will be encrypted and routed through ExpressVPN servers. You can test if the newly created connection is working by checking your IP address. Simply connect any wireless device to that new hotspot and go to vpnmentor.com slash tools slash epinfo slash. Here you can check if your IP address has changed to the country you want. And that's it. You now know three different methods for using a VPN on your smart TV. Whether you install a VPN directly on your smart TV, install it on your router, or share your VPN connection through a hotspot, you can enjoy a more private and secure streaming experience. If you need any help with installing ExpressVPN on your router, check out the tutorial in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.